Hello viewers and welcome to our channel Top Rated. When buying any product it can be challenging to find the most value for money item to make your purchase decision easier. In this video, we have compared many products and selected only the best products by comparing based on a few criteria and ranked them. We have selected the product considering many factors, importantly user feedback. If you choose from this list, you can rest assured that you are buying the best product. I have put the link of the products in the video description, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to enjoy more awesome content like this, so without any delay. Let's get started. Our list at number 1. Boss Audio Systems Multimedia Car Stereo The Boss Audio is a great value for the price. It is much smaller and lighter than I expected, and it has a lot of features that you normally don't get for the price. The installation was straightforward, and the radio sounds great. The user interface is very straightforward and well designed. I would definitely purchase this again. Bravo to individuals at Supervisor for a very much planned esteem estimated piece of gear. If you are looking to upgrade your car stereo, the Boss Audio is a great option. It is much smaller and lighter than many other stereos on the market, and it comes with a variety of features that make it a great value. For example, the BV9000. 362BA includes Bluetooth connectivity, so you can easily connect your smartphone or other device and stream music or make hands-free phone calls. The stereo also has a built-in amplifier that delivers plenty of power to your speakers, and the user interface is straightforward and easy to use. Our list at number 2. Boss Audio Systems Car Audio Stereo System the Pile is a decent head unit if you're looking to upgrade from your stock radio without breaking the bank. It has a variety of features that are sure to please, including Bluetooth connectivity, a DVD player, and front and rear camera inputs. While the sound quality may not blow you away, it is a noticeable upgrade from most stock radios. The biggest downside to this unit is the screen sensitivity, which can be a bit frustrating at times. Overall, however, it is a great value for the price. Assuming you're looking for a buying guide for a double-din touchscreen radio, there are a few things you'll want to keep in mind when shopping for a touchscreen radio. First, consider the price. Touchscreen radios can range in price from around $60 to over $200. If you're on a budget, you may want to look for a radio that falls on the lower end of the price range. Next, think about the features you want. Some touchscreen radios come with features like Bluetooth, DVD players, and GPS. If you're looking for a basic radio, you may not need all of these features. However, if you're looking for a more comprehensive system, you'll want to make sure the radio you're considering has all the bells and whistles you're looking for. Finally, consider the installation. Touchscreen radios can be more difficult to install than traditional radios. If you're not comfortable installing the radio yourself, you may want to bring it to a professional. Keep in mind that you may also need to purchase a separate installation kit, which can add to the cost of the overall project. Our list at number 3. Pioneer In-Dash Touchscreen DVD Receiver Based on the information above, I would recommend the Pioneer In-Dash Multimedia Receiver. It is a very responsive touchscreen with all the customization options I had hoped for. The Bluetooth works flawlessly, and there is also a DVD player built in. The main con I can imagine is that foundation customization is restricted. However, the unit more than makes up for this with its other features. When buying a new head unit for your car, there are a few things to keep in mind. First, consider what features are most important to you. If you care about audio quality, look for a head unit with good reviews for sound quality. If you want a unit with a built-in DVD player, make sure to check that the unit you're considering has that feature. Whenever you've settled on the elements that are mean quite a bit to you, now is the ideal time to begin looking at costs. Head units can range in price from around $100 to over $1,000, so it's important to find one that fits your budget. When comparing prices, also make sure to check the reviews to see what other people are saying about the unit you're considering. Look for reviews that mention the features that are most important to you, and make sure to read through the reviews to get a feel for the overall quality of the unit. Once you've found a head unit that you like and that fits your budget, it's time to install it in your car. If you're not comfortable doing the installation yourself, most car stereo shops will be happy to do it for you. Our list at number 4. Kenwood Car Media Player 
if you're looking for a great, low-priced head unit that has all the features of more expensive units, the Pile is a great option. It has plenty of built-in options or the ability to disable them. And the cord for the microphone is plenty long to route under the dash and up the A column. It also lets you pair five Bluetooth devices, which is more than many other units. A few clients have grumbled that the showcase isn't brilliant enough in sunshine. Mine is set to red, most straightforward on the eyes around evening time, and it's bounty noticeable in an odyssey. If you're looking for a great head unit that has all the features of more expensive models but doesn't break the bank, the Pile is a great option. It's easy to use and has a great selection of equalizer and audio enhancement options, as well as multiple outputs if you're running more than one amp for a sub speakers. The Bluetooth connectivity works great, and the microphone is very clear, even when used in a noisy vehicle. Some users have complained that the display isn't bright enough in daylight, but it's still visible in an Odyssey. Overall, this is a great head unit that offers a lot of features and great sound quality. Our list at number 5. JVC Double DIN In-Dash Bluetooth Car Stereo Receiver the JVC KW M950B DAW is a great car stereo for anyone looking for great sound quality and a lot of features. Installation is very easy, and the Bluetooth works great for hands-free calling and streaming music. The backup camera is also a great addition, although the camera that comes with the unit has a very poor viewing angle. Overall, this is a great car stereo for the price and would recommend it to anyone. If you're looking for a great aftermarket car stereo with plenty of features, the JVC KGV V840BT is a great option to consider. It's got excellent sound quality, plenty of options for sound customization, and a built-in backup camera, making it a great choice for anyone looking to improve their car's audio system.